Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at another type of matrix multiplication, and that is how we multiply a matrix by a matrix. When we do this, we take the rows in the matrix on the left, and we distribute that row to the column of the matrix on the right. So I'm distributing row one of my left matrix into column one of my right matrix. The result of that, so row one times column one, goes in our enter matrix in that spot, row one, column one. So what does it mean when I say I'm distributing this? Well, the way that I'm doing that is I am multiplying the entry in A11 times C11 and then adding that to A12 times C21. And whatever that results in will go in this spot. I'll then repeat that with each row times each column to fill in the rest of the values in my answer matrix. Now because of the way this works, there are a few things we need to check to see if it's even possible. All right. So the first thing is, if we take the dimensions of our first matrix, in this case, in this example that I have written here, we have a two by two, since we have two rows and two columns. And then we look at multiplying that with our second dimensions, or the dimensions of our second matrix, that is a two by two also then what we're looking for to see if this type of multiplication is possible is we're looking for these inner two values to match. So the number of columns in the first matrix needs to match the number of rows in the second matrix. That just means that you'll have the same number of items here as here. So everything will have something to get multiplied by. Okay, so these inner values have to match for this multiplication to be possible. The outer numbers tell you what your result should look like. So a two by two will be the dimension of our answer matrix. Okay, so since the outer dimensions here are two by two, that's why we get a two by two as a result. So in general, for any set of dimensions, m by n times n by p, because the n and n match on the inside, this is possible, and our result will be an M by P matrix. The other thing we want to point out about matrix multiplication before we jump into some examples is that matrix multiplication is not commutative. What that means is that A times B is not the same thing as B times A. So we cannot just flip the matrices around left to right and say that they will be the same. If they are square matrices, like a two by two times a two by two, then A times B and B times A will both be possible, but they will result in a different answer. Okay, so with all of that information, let's check out some examples. So let's take a two by two with a two by two. Okay, so we always want to write out our dimensions and just check that everything is possible. So our dimensions for our first, we have two rows by two columns, and we are multiplying that with our second matrix, which also has two rows by two columns. So check to make sure that your inner two values match they do, so this is a possibility to do. And then to see what your answer matrix should have a dimension of, look at your outside values. So our answer matrix should be a two by two. Okay, I'm gonna draw myself a really big two by two just so I have room to show my work here. So for our value in row one, column one, I'm gonna distribute row one of my first matrix times column one of my second matrix. So that will be zero times six 
plus 2 times 3. All right, and I'll just go ahead and have kind of my final answer matrix over here. So 0 times 6 is 0, plus 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 6 as my value in row 1, column 1. Okay, now for row 1, column 2, that means I will take row 1 of our first matrix and distribute it to column 2 of our second matrix. So row 1, column 2 spot is row 1 times column 2. So that will be 0 times negative 6 plus 2 times 0. So 0 times negative 6 is 0, plus 2 times 0 is 0. So I get 0 as my answer in row 1, column 2. All right, moving down to row 2, column 1. That means I will take row 2 and distribute it into column 1. So row 2, column 1 goes in row 2, column 1. So that is negative 2 times 6 plus 5 times 3, or negative 12 plus 15 is 3. Okay, and for our last spot, row 2, column 2, we are going to take row 2 and distribute it into column 2. So row 2, column 2 will be negative 2 times negative 6 plus 5 times 0. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12, plus 5 times 0 is 0, so we have 12. So here's our result of multiplying the matrix 0, 2, negative 2, 5 by the matrix 6, negative 6, 3, 0, distributing rows from the first into columns of the second. Alright guys, that does it for this video on an introduction to matrix multiplication. See us in the next one to see more examples like these. Until next time!